Alright guys, what is going on? My name is Ollie Ward and welcome back to the Ollie Ward channel. It feels so good to say that again. I've been away for nearly a week and I'm back giving you some Leeds United transfer news. How have you all been? Let me know in the comments down below. Before we do get into the transfer news, of course, I'm going to ask you to smash that like button today. Let's go for 300 likes on the return of Ollie Ward and also subscribe if you are new. Look how close we are to 9.6k. I'm going to give you three seconds. One, two and three. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. And today I want you to comment where you're from, where you're watching this, how you've been. That's all I want to that's all I want to know. Let me know in the comments down below. And without further ado, let's get into the Leeds United news. There's so much news to get through. So we're starting with Fabrizio Romano and he's talking everything Western McKenney. So Leeds are exploring new options for the midfield. This is including Weston McKenney. It's one of the possibilities considered by the club. The list still includes Unahi after an opening bid was made a few weeks ago. It's not just Fabrizio Romano talking uh, McKenney. It's also Florine Pletterberg, who was very close with the whole Jorginho Routier deal. He got everything spot on, and he said this in Sky Germany's transfer show. We're hearing the same thing about Weston McKenney and the possibility of him going to Leeds here in Germany. McKenney has the same agent as Brendan Aronson at Leeds, and we're hearing Juventus have set a price tag of between 30 to 40 million euros because he has previously been linked with Borussia Dortmund. He is open to joining another club aka Leeds United. And if that's not enough for you, out in Sky Sports Italy as well, Gian, uh, Gianluco Di Marzio has said, the last one I was chasing this mor uh, morning was Leeds United, uh, Leeds United sorry, expressing an interest in Juventus' Weston McKenney, the American midfielder. They're pushing for a deal and the two clubs are talking to see if they can come up with an agreement. So there's so many reliable sources in on this. This one definitely does have legs. And it's good to see Leeds United bringing in a midfielder. We need a midfielder. Click's gone. The bench looks, you know, like nothing midfield-wise, you know, when we don't have a midfield there. Obviously, Greenwood can play there. Obviously, Voba can play there if needs be. But we didn't bring these players in to do that. Greenwoods can push forward more. And also, Voba's more of a centre-back across the back line. So it'd be good to bring in the American midfielder. Really does help that Brendan Aronson's agent is the same. They could just say, look, you know, it, I think it does help. And it all works. Again, it's going to be, you know, controversial. He's another American player. I don't know too much about him. Haven't watched him with Juventus, but also I did watch him in the World Cup and he was a fantastic player sitting next to Tyler Adams. I think he'd fit in very well in this side. And again, they're listening to Jesse Marsh. They want Jesse Marsh signing. So, you know, here we are. We'll just have to see how this one goes. Uh, next up in the news, we're going to talk Jack Harrison. Jack Harrison has been linked with a move away from Leeds United. And uh, Leicester are the front runners for this. Leicester do like, and they're trying to target the Leeds United winger, Jack Harrison. Obviously, he struggles with consistency, Jack Harrison. That's the one thing that we ha that he's always struggled with, uh, unfortunately, at Leeds United. And uh, we've got a lot of wingers now. Somerville, Willie Nonto, Luis Sinistera. Does Jack Harrison get a lot of game time? In fairness, he has had decent games recently, but the one thing I do criticise him, he keeps on to the ball too long. I don't know if anyone else agrees with me. Let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, Leicester like the look of Jack Harrison. Next up, we're talking Everton. I mean, there's a lot of news to talk about Everton today, but we're going to talk about Leeds United apparently have held interest in signing Everton defender Michael Keane. You're probably thinking, really? They do want to let Michael Keane go. However... Everton are reluctant to let him join another Premier League club. So that's a bit of a nothing story. But to get into the Everton news, we're now talking about Dan Juma. And apparently Leeds United made a late move to sign Dan Juma, uh, the Valencia player. But now he's gone out on loan to Tottenham. Everton have had a difficult 24 hours, or well, difficult 24 years, but difficult 24 hours in the case that Dan Juma was going to go there. Last week, he's saying, I can't wait to keep Everton up. He's done all the medical you know, he, he's done all the social media photos. And in the last 11 hours, he's gone, nah, I don't fancy this. And he's gone to Spurs. Apparently, Leeds made a late move for him as well. Tried to sway him, but he did want to go to Tottenham. And he is there now. And the last bit about Everton. Obviously, you guys probably know this already, but Marcelo Bielsa was the front runner for Ev the Everton job. They were thinking Marcelo Bielsa, Thomas Frank. Apparently, both have rejected According to Craig, uh, Craig Hope, uh, he is an exclusive that Marcelo Bielsa has told Everton the team is too slow to play the way he wants and they must prioritise pace before the window closes. If he chooses to replace Frank Lampard, um, 
Argentina interested in the job, but concerns of providing anal uh, analysts of the squad. So basically, he doesn't see the squad with potential. And I think we've, we all could have said that. I think, I think looking at this, it was a bit of a weird one because... Marcelo Bielsa is, is famous for, you know, just doing his own thing. And I feel like the board would just get way too involved. And I just don't think Everton's the right place for a Marcelo uh, Bielsa project right now. But it is shown that he does want to come back to the Premier League. He's been linked with Bournemouth. He's been linked with Everton. I, mean, I just think it's, you know, soon we're going to have to accept that he might be at another Premier League club soon. But it doesn't matter because we'll be in the championship. <laughs> no, we won't. That's a joke. That is a joke, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, next up, we are talking about Unahi. Obviously, at the end of Fabrizio Romano's uh, tweet, it did say it still includes Unahi after an opening bid was made weeks ago. Apparently, there's an update that Leeds have the green light to set up uh, to step up, sorry, pursuit of Azadine Unahi in the January transfer window. Not too much source to go with that, though. There's not too much evidence that that is. This is uh, tweeted from Leeds Live. There isn't too much to, to show of this. I just think it's things we already know, unfortunately. But Unahi is still there. But I believe now Leeds will start pursuing for McKenny. Unahi was... Would, I, I think, personally, Unahi would fit the role a bit better. But you never know. You never know what's easier. I don't know. Next up, we're talking Joffy. Obviously, Joffy does look like he's going to get a loan move away from Leeds United. Sunderland, Stoke, Blackburn, Wigan. I don't know where this bloke's going to go. He's kind of got a pick of everyone. He can go wherever he wants, Joffy. Uh, I, I don't know really what he's going to do. Is he going to go back to Wigan or will Sunderland want him? I know that he is in high demand from Sunderland. Uh, but we'll just have to see what Joffy does. I do believe he will go out on loan, though, very soon, before the window shuts. And next up, Amari Miller might be going on loan as well. He started off as quite a high prospect, of Amari Miller. We're hearing less and less about him. He might be going on a loan or even a uh, permanent transfer, is what I've been hearing. But we'll have to see about Amari Miller. Next up, we're talking uh, Jesse Marsh. Are we seeing an improvement? I didn't watch the game. On Sunday, I was busy, I was away, but apparently people say defensively, we're looking much, uh, much more sound. But do we have time to say, oh yeah, we're improving, the, the game's better? Still, two wins in 18 or two wins in 16 is not good enough uh, at all. Obviously, there's a lot of draws in there. I'm Jesse Marsh in at the moment. I think these next big games are important. We'll just have to see how Jesse Marsh gets on. And the last bit of, it's a bit of fun news here. Uh, Accrington Stanley versus Boreham Wood is tonight. Whoever wins obviously leads play this Saturday at half 12. If we win it, it'll be our uh, 1,972nd win ever, as in, uh, or of all time, uh, which is the only year we have won our only FA Cup. And that was from LUFC Stats. So that's a nice bit of, you know, just nice little uh, thing to end on there. Guys, I hope you have all enjoyed this video. It's good to be back. I'll be on the transfer news now for, you know, for the foreseeable. Obviously, the transfer window doesn't have long left. We've got about a week left of the transfer window. So get down there and smash that like button. Subscribe. Tell me where you're from and all that good stuff. Let me know what your thoughts are on McKenny. Have you checked him out? If not, check him out on the YouTube. Guys, I've been Ollie Ward. You guys have been excellent. And I'll catch you in the next video. Cheering.